In this video, I'm going to use these two identities, tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta, and sine squared plus cos squared theta equals 1, which I've proved in a different video, uh, to solve a few equations. Okay, let's start with this one, 2 sine theta plus cos theta equals 0. And of course, for a trig equation, I do need to specify a range of values as well. So let's solve this between uh, for theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Okay. Um, so uh, this one, okay, it's just got a term of something times sine theta and something times cos theta, just 1 times cos theta here. So to solve this, what I can do is rearrange the equation so that I've got sine theta over cos theta in there somewhere, okay? So 2 sine theta equals minus cos theta. Uh, and then I could say divide both sides by cos theta and by 2, and that would give me sine theta over cos theta is equal to minus 1 half. And sine theta over cos theta, that's always equal to tan theta, so I've now got tan theta equals minus one half. So I've taken something that had sine theta and cos theta in it, and I've got something that's just got tan theta in it now. Okay. So I can get the value of theta by doing uh, tan inverse of minus a half. I am in degrees mode, I just checked that. Um, and that gives me a value uh, for theta, which is minus 26.6 degrees. Now, the only problem with that value is that it's not in this range, not up to 360 degrees. So we need to know what the graph of tan theta looks like. Again, I've done another video where you can um, think about where this comes from a little bit, but this is what the graph uh, looks like, y equals tan x here. So minus 90 degrees here, 0, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270, 360 degrees, and tan theta repeats every 180 degrees. Okay, so this is exactly the same as this, and it's all 180 degrees apart. So um, I've got this value here where tan theta equals minus one half. Okay, my the shape of this graph isn't quite, uh, the proportions aren't quite right, but the shape is fine. Uh, so I've got minus 26.6 degrees here somewhere. Um, so perhaps really I should, make that, that should be a bit further over here. So perhaps minus a half is actually a bit further up, but that's all fine. Um, so where are the other ones? Well, tan theta is quite easy, because if you've got one one root, the other places that have the same value of minus a half here will be here and here, and so it's just every 180 degrees. Okay, so I can add or subtract 180 degrees, and I still get an answer, right? So if I add 180, that takes me to this point here, so I've got 153.4 degrees, and if I add 180 again, that gives me 333.4 degrees, so that gives me this value here. So those are the two values that lie between 0 and 360. And if the range was different, um, I could solve it elsewhere. I can add 180 again if I wanted a larger one, or if I wanted some negative values, I could keep the one I started with or subtract subtract 180. Okay, but there we go. Um, the thing that was useful here using sine theta over cos theta to re uh, is tan theta to replace that, and then I've just got a single um, trig function that I can solve for. And what about this other one? When can we use this one? Well, let's say I've got something like sine squared theta um, minus 2 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. And I'd like to solve this. And again, let's have a range of values. So let's do this one between minus 180 degrees and plus 180 degrees. Now, this is quite hard to solve. I've got a quadratic term in sine and a linear one in cos. Um, so I can't really do much with this cos theta because that's not in the identity. But you see, I can take the sine squared theta. And if I rewrite this identity by subtracting cos squared theta from both sides, so subtract cos squared theta over here and subtract this cos squared theta, I've got sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. So I could replace sine squared theta with 1 minus cos squared theta. Remember, this is an identity, so this is always true. So I can just replace this. Different from what I'm doing here, which is solving the equation to find a particular value of theta that makes it work. So I've got 1 minus cos squared theta minus 2 cos theta plus 1 equals 0. So let's essentially multiply everything by minus 1 or move it to the other side, however you want to think about it, and tidy up. So I've got 1 plus 1 is 2. Uh, OK, so let's make this plus cos squared theta plus 2 cos theta, 
and then I've got plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so this is now a bit like a quadratic equation. It's a bit like x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, where I've replaced x, uh, cos theta, with x. So if I solve that quadratic equation, and let's save some time here and just use the quadratic solver to do that, so a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals 2, um, then I actually just realized I made a mistake. 1 plus 1 is 2, so that should have been minus 2 here. Sorry about that. So uh, otherwise, as you see, I was getting some odd answers on my, my calculator there. But I've got 1, 2, and minus 2. So I've got two answers here. Let's, leave, let's give them as decimals. x equals 0 0.73. I'm just going to store that one as a if I can. Oh, it doesn't like me doing that. Uh, so let's also, let's write that it's minus 1 plus the square root of 3. And the other one is minus 1 minus the square root of 3, which is minus 2.73. Okay, so they're the values of x that work for this. Now, uh, but this is actually cos theta, this x. So actually I've got cos theta equals 0 0.73 or minus 2.73. Now let's think about the graph of y equals cos x. Um, now this one repeats every uh, 100, sorry, 360 degrees, so this is actually 0, got 90 here, 180, 270, and it would keep, it would get back up to 1 here again and repeat, so this is 1 at the top and minus 1 at the bottom, this is minus 90, minus 180. We're only interested in minus 180 up to 180 here, so that'll do for us. Um, now notice that cos x is always between minus 1 and plus 1, so actually I can't have cos theta is minus 2.73, that one doesn't give us any answers at all. I can only have cos theta equals 0.73. Okay, so and actually to give me an exact answer, let me type back in the exact formula, root 3 minus 1, and I'll do cos inverse of that, and that will give me 42.9 degrees. Okay, so uh, so this tells me uh, theta equals 42.9 degrees. And so that's one answer that is in here. Um, so there's, you know, uh, the um, one value there. And actually, if I look back over here, well, there's another value symmetrically opposite it, which also has the same value for cos. So actually the other answer here is minus 42.9 degrees. And again, that gives me two answers. So you, know, um, you have to look at the graph of cos, think, okay, where else do I have uh, the same value for the cosine? And, uh, and try and work out what the other alternative is. Okay, so in the last one, we replaced a sine squared with a cos squared and um, and solved it that way. This is a similar sort of equation, this time I've got cos squared and sine. Um, so we could do a very similar thing, I could take this identity sine squared plus cos squared is 1 and subtract sine squared theta from both sides. And this time I've got cos squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, so I could replace cos squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, and get an equation like this. Now this one's going to work out slightly more easily by the looks of it, so I've just got so the 1 cancels from each side, and uh, let's write this as sine squared theta minus sine theta equals 0. So again, it's like a quadratic equation, x squared minus x equals 0, where this time x equals sine of theta. Right Now this factorizes as x, x minus 1 equals 0, so I get x equals 0, or 1. So I need to find the values where sine theta equals 0, or sine theta equals 1. Now again, I need to uh, give a range to solve this in, so let's solve it between 0 and 360 degrees. And sine theta looks something like this, between 0 and 360. So 0 here, 180 here, 90 at the top there, where it gets to plus 1. 270 here, where it gets down to minus 1, and 360. So actually, I don't think I need a calculator here. The places where sine theta equals 0 in this range, well, that would be theta equals 
Well, there's one here at zero, here at 180, and here at 360. And also, where is it equal to one? Actually, just at this one value here at 90 degrees. So let's write them down in order. So zero, 90, 180, and 360 degrees are all the possible answers there. So you can actually get quite a lot of um, roots to these equations or not very many or none at all even depending on the quadratic if, if the quadratic came out not to have roots or didn't have any roots between minus one and one then it wouldn't have any uh, solutions at all anyway that's the idea so we've got these two different equations first the uh, or tan theta or sine theta over cos theta that we used to, re to replace something like that with uh, tan theta solve the equation or in a case where you've got a quadratic in either cos squared or sine squared and a just an ordinary linear term in the other one, you can replace whichever the squared one is using this identity and get yourself a quadratic in sine squared or cos squared, sorry, in, in sine or cos, to solve as we've just done.